Drake and I are stranded. We're out the ranch and completely stranded because we may or may not have just lost a tire. Uh, he said, well, guess what? Whether you like it or not, plan on having a uh, baby cow in the next nine to 10 months. <laughs> That's so cool. It's so exciting to have a project almost finished. So the car lady yells at me. They still have my car. After months of waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, my car is finally getting fixed. Finally getting fixed. They have the part. I can't remember what it's called. The guy asked me, he's like, what's the part? I'm like, I don't remember. ECM or something like that? Yeah, something like that. It's the thing that helps it go into drive in reverse and the thing that's Control making Control module of some sort. Yeah, something like that. But the part finally came after, what, when we first took it in was what, April? But it finally came and they're finally installing it after months of waiting. So my car's getting fixed finally, yay! I'm done. Ticket time, ready to booth. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, write your name on the back of each of them. Good job, Four tickets. Are you done too? With all of your work? Today and tomorrow. Okay, let's see it. I need to see it. All right, Lizzie just had a D minus in that class. And now, I got two answers wrong on my quiz, but then I didn't know that, and then I just really checked, and I had two answers wrong, and then I did it again, and I had all 10 out of 10 questions correct. Mommy, mm -hmm. I'm all done Okay. look. I don't think you actually did yesterday or tomorrow's work, did you? It doesn't have anything on tomorrow. Okay, so then you get one ticket. Wait, Mommy, but I, only, but I don't have tomorrow's work. I know, so you didn't do it. That's true. Here's your one ticket, good job. What you need to do is tell your teacher that we're gonna be out of town for all the days we're gonna be gone. Okay. And ask her for the work. And then once you complete all those, will give you the allotted amount of tickets depending on all allotted. the work you do. Okay? Yeah. Awesome, good job for bringing up your grade. Okay, as you got your score done? Mm -hmm. Whoops. Okay, you gotta write your name on the back of both, all three of these. No, he has three. I know, he has three. Because okay. he did today and tomorrow's work. And this is really cool. Bonus. Let's see. Hurry, put in the jar. Where is the jar? Over there. Oh yeah, you haven't gotten a ticket yet. Woohoo! Savannah's got her ticket for having her schoolwork done. Mm -hmm. What are your grades like? A's. Nice. Yep. Good job, Savannah. Woo! Today we are doing a fall makeup look. Danielle is gonna rock this. You can already tell. <laughs> we have an inspo pick, I'll show you. Right there. Here's the update. She's looking good. Looking a little fall. Drake and I are headed to the ranch right now, and um, we just had to stop because we've seen this international pickup, just like the one that I have at the side of my house, um, in this parking lot for the last 10 times we've come by here. I said, we're going to stop, we're going to stop. Well, we finally stopped. This is not the international, actually. It's a really cool truck, though. Johnson's Garage is on the side of it. It's like all vintage. and I mean, this is a 40s pickup. This is very similar to the year of the International that's in my in our backyard. It looks, it just looks cool. Look how cool that is. They don't make these trucks like they used to. Man. No, they don't make them as cool as Could this Could you imagine sure. if you like got in a wreck with this thing? You'd be in trouble. So um, anyway, we're just out here looking at their stuff and uh, wishing we could get in. I knocked on the door and uh, nobody answered. I guess the next thing I could do is twist the doorknob, see if the door opens and see if somebody's inside. Okay, so they've got a ring doorbell, and uh, I, pu I pushed it, nothing happened, and then uh, I knocked on the door, nothing happened. Dang it, I wish somebody was at that shop right now. Looks like we'll have to stop again sometime. Yeah, persistence. Persistence, just to get an answer, to, they'll probably say, dude, that truck is not moving. 
I'm gonna fix it up someday. <laughs> ah. There it is. Oh, it's a beauty. She's pretty. Oh my goodness, is she ever. I love the truck. It's, it looks good. <laughs> Let's go check the coin. Hey, where are you going? Right here. What's you gonna do right here? Right. What's you gonna do right here? Chucking or chucking? Chucking. Chucking, chucking the corn. <laughs> I wanna chuck it. Can I chuck it? How's chucking the corn, dude? Chucking. That's what I said. Chucking. We're saying the same thing. Yeah, you are. Hey, stop teasing Branson. I love coming home to people cleaning my house. <laughs> the mess they made. <laughs> has begun and we are calling Kyla because she ditched on us. <laughs> All done. They're so cute. Thank you. You're welcome. I love them. Drake and I are stranded. We're out the ranch and completely stranded because uh, behind me we may or may not have just lost a tire on the old Cadillac. It's a Lincoln, not a Cadillac. We, we, it is a Lincoln. There's a hole through the windshield and there's no tire. We Get lost the tire, yeah. With this so. man behind the wheel. Anyway, actually what was really happened is so we did a fun video for uh, the Seriously channel. The one that Drake and I are working a lot on recently. We've had so much fun. We tore down a house. We did the uh, uh, painting the car with uh, dish soap. We did... Yeah, that was my favorite one. Yeah. Let's see, what else did we do? Um, we... Did a tug of war with the four wheeler in the car. And I That's right. Just about... Blew up some... Uh, Blew up a microwave and some things with uh, car airbags. Anyway, I guess what I'm saying is, if you haven't seen our Seriously channel, which actually used to be the, the old Destroy It channel, so you may have seen it. We switched over to Seriously, because we got sick and tired of just destroying things, but obviously, we're back to destroying things. So, Anyway, I'm just going on and on and on because we have about a mile hike back to uh, where we get our hefty, heavy duty uh, backhoe to pick up that car and uh, try to put the wheel back on it that we just broke off. Oh, look at that cute little guy. The only cows left. I got a message yesterday, from Charles, who uh, used to own this ranch out here. And uh, he had one more cow left out on the ranch here. And uh, he decided he's gonna go ahead, and uh, it was a male. He go ahead and send them this male off to the butcher. Or the auction, one of the two. Um, either way, he said, hey, while I was trying to get my bull out of there, your bull got out, which is, uh, bullseye back there his eye uh, he said well while he was doing that he was try trying to get him to not come out of this gate but he did and uh, he said well guess what he, whether you like it or not plan on having a uh, baby cow in the next nine to ten months <laughs> so of course we were planning on that anyway um, the uh, the baby here Boromir he's probably I'm not sure how old he is I have to look back uh, he's at least a month and a half uh, if not more now, so I guess it's okay. But uh, they were determined to be together, and so they are. And uh, look at Boromir, he's getting so big. So big. Getting big, buddy. Whoa, that's so cool. I mean, the camera doesn't catch it like in real life. So, Rex and Jamie worked on the pillars today and it looks so fun down here. Um, Jamie suggested that we get um, Star Wars characters in here. That would be cool. You know it would be cool. Like, like we get the stand-up actual, what's the white one? What's the white one? Oh, a stormtrooper? A stormtrooper in the corner. Oh, yeah, like that the would be cool. <laughs> yeah. And like that get some, so cool. find some old Star Wars posters or something. That that would one be over cool. there on that side. Yeah. It's so exciting to have a project almost finished from taking it from the after the storm to what it's going to be. 
It's so exciting. And also once this project is finished, then we can bring down the Legos, organize the craft room, and then work on the playroom. Get that cleaned and organized. Yeah, like get stuff out of the laundry room that belongs in the craft room. And, and I may or may not have gotten Richard started on another project. Oh, really? <laughs> well? You know the one we talked about this morning? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. It's so exciting for me to just think about putting things back together the way they belong. <sighs> Being in such disarray for so long really like gets to me. And so just have one thing completed and and it will have like the trickle, trickle effect of having other things completed. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. Kitty, kitty. Aw, ma'am kitty. The babies are getting so nice and fat. They're so cute. Last night, Mim wanted to come out and she was just searching, 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 searching. I think she was searching for blue. baby blue. Mm -hmm. She did it this morning too. Really? She so can't hear her. Yeah. She thinks Mim Kitty needs a bath. Baby. Yeah, she does need a bath. Yeah, she wasn't missing the baby. She's like, he's here somewhere, but where is he? I know, she just doesn't understand. But she has also gotten to the stage where she wants to move her kittens. Her favorite, favorite thing for some reason is my blanket, my pink Betty's blanket. And she laid on it today with me right before we watched a movie and she snuggled with me <laughs> and she and she came out back in here, grabbed baby girl and started moving her to my blanket. <laughs> was she holding her the right way? No. No, she was holding her head. She, That's not how you do it, Mimi. No, she doesn't she's understand nervous. how to move. Look how nervous she is. Yeah, she doesn't like the camera. Let's not. Let's not it's do okay, that. Kitty. It has a fuzzy on top, so it scares her. Yeah. It's okay, man. We'll let you be. You're such a good mama. You may think it's silly. I just loved seeing the things that I make. <laughs> it was it was really fun. Doing corn with Mara and Canyon. He just wanted to be so helpful, and he was so cute, and it was so fun. And now we have fresh, fresh sweet corn in our freezer for the winter time when we don't have corn to go get at the corn stand. It's way better than getting corn at the grocery store. And Mar and I get to spend time together. We get to spend time with Canyon. And that is what I love. I love teaching the skills that I know, spending time together with my family, and having something that I feel confident about, that I feel accomplished with, and that I love doing. So, there you go. So, the car lady yells at me. Dad, the car lady's not very nice to me. She sits and yells at me. What are you talking about? The lady that works at the car place that's fixing my car right now. She keeps texting me, and it's all in caps. Have you ever met a mechanic that doesn't yell? No. Maybe that's it. They still have my car. That's right. They kept it overnight, right. but they're fixing it. So hopefully, I'll get it back tomorrow morning. Allie. Yes? You are worth it. Good night. Oh, thanks. You are worth it. You are worth it. And you guys are worth it, too. We love you. Love you. You are Bye. worth it. Are Bye, worth guys. It.